Hey guys, this is Richard from Welsh Tech. Welcome back to my next video. Hope you guys had a fantastic week. Sorry about the way my voice is. I'm actually unwell at the moment with the flu. So, other than that, we've got the Ultra 120 Extreme Rev.4 in white from Thermalright versus the PLS Assassin All Black 120 from also from Thermalright. So, We'll get into what the actual differences are between the both coolers and then what we'll do after that then is get into the thermal benchmarks and then we'll have a chat afterwards. So continue to watch. Right, so what are the actual differences? Well, both are nowhere near the same. The PLS Assassin is a dual tower. The Ultra 120 is a single tower. Both have heat, uh, six heat pipes. There are There is a difference in weight. Of course, the Ultra 120 is 660 grams in weight, where the PLS Assassin's is 750 grams. That is due to the fact that it's bigger. The overall dimensions, of course, the the Ultra 120 dimensions length is 132 millimeters, by width is 64, height is 157 millimeters. Now the PLS Assassin, of course, the length is a 125 millimeter, width is 135, and the height is 157. So very similar, but of course, one is a dual tower, the other is a single tower. Now when it comes to the fans, the overall fans are actually different. The ones with the PLS Assassin aren't as premium as the ones with the Ultra 120. Of course, the ones with the Ultra 120 are Thermorite's actual, uh, more of a premium base fan. They are at 2150 RPM. They do blow 69 CFM, nice. Uh, where the PLS Assassin, the um, airflow, is only 66.17 CFM. Now, yes, both of them are four pin. Both of them have got a SFDB bearing, and of, but the one from the Ultra 120 is obviously a more of a high-end fan. Now, when it comes to the mountain, very similar, except for one is rotated, the other isn't. But overall, the overall difference is aren't that much but of course the overall look is completely different and i hope this helps anyone right then guys i hope you enjoyed the what's the actual differences between each cooler if you like it done that way then i will make sure to do that continuing in the foot in the future now i've done benchmarks with both air coolers what we'll start with first is my basic benchmark suite for thermal cinebench r23 blender classroom Blender BMW and 3D Mark CPU test. Now remember, these tests are going to hit the CPU better than any other game, than any game will. These are synthetics. They will definitely stress the CPU much harder. So, Ultra 120 Extreme Rev 0.2. Now, for Cinebench run, the idle was a 35, the max was a 64 Celsius. Blender Classroom, the idle was a 36, the max was a 62. Blender BMW, the idle was a 37, the max was a 62, and for 3D Mark CPU test, the idles were a 35 Celsius and the max was a 66 Celsius. Now, for the PLS Assassin 120, the Cinebench R23 was idle a 34, max was 62, Blender Classroom was idle a 34, max at 61. Blender BMW idle with 35 max 62 and 3D Mark CPU test the idle was a 35 and the max was a 67. That is the benchmarks. Let's get into the rest of the video. Right then, guys, you've seen the benchmarks. You've seen the overall thermal. Yes, both tested on a 5900X, and yes, there are some differences, but it's only one to two degrees. That really doesn't matter. The idles were near enough the same. Some were a little bit higher on the Ultra 120, but it all depends. The 5900X isn't exactly the most powerhouse CPU. If this was a 5800X 3D, the temps I would expect to be a lot, bit, lot more. But of course, both 
both CPUs, uh, both CPU coolers, sorry, are very good quality. Obviously, you know the Peel Assassin. I featured it many times. That is my go-to. Overall, for both of them, the differences are so much. Uh, not that, mu uh, not so much of a difference than really the. I wouldn't bother to be honest. I'm sure the Ultra 120 is about 20 pound more than the Peerless Assassin. That is due to the fact that the Ultra 120 Extreme is. It has a lot better fans. The overall fans are better quality, but. As you saw from the benchmarks, there was only a 1 to 2 degree difference, so that's really up to you. Overall though, I'd always re recommend the Peerless Assassin for anyone. Anyone with any CPU, this is an absolute monster of a CPU cooler. And if you can get it on Amazon, it sometimes it's an absolute bargain of 35 quid. This is the all black version, you can obviously have RGB, white, so yeah. Look, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to like, and I hope you liked the video. And this is Richard Welsh Tech. Goodbye.